Good afternoon. So today, and yes, I have several videos that I recorded, but I haven't uploaded yet. And so today I am making a special video. And uh, this is one that I kind of wasn't expecting to have to do. But again, <laughs> It's about someone that I really thought was, uh, but she's young, she's 26 years old, and she's very naive, <laughs> And uh, but she appeared to be really smart, and I really like to follow her posts, and uh, it's not specifically about her, it's about an attitude that she had, and uh, some things that really get under my skin. So, it uh, seems like she, she has turned into a completely different person all of a sudden. So, what uh, I am talking specifically, specifically is about Holocaust denial. And uh, the reason I'm talking about this is because... Um, not only it's something that we are facing every day and is increasing at an alarming rate, uh, especially amongst the leftists and extreme right-wing uh, people. Uh, now, we also have, um, you know, the, the, the part of... Uh, Part of people that don't really care that if it doesn't affect me I don't care about it um, so and this time I'm going to mention her name and you'll see that I've already made two videos about certain topics uh, uh, that regarded her and so it's Stephanie McWilliams and she has very smart articles, but since she started converting to Catholicism, she changed quite a lot, and uh, she's had quite a few weird views. Um, now, she follows certain Twitter accounts, certain Catholic Twitter accounts, and again, Nothing against Catholics. My mother is Catholic and uh, my father is, well, I come from a line of uh, Catholics or supposed Catholics, I don't know. Um, everyone in Portugal is Catholic, even or force converted to Catholicism. So um, I know what Catholicism is at its inception, you know. Uh, and uh, but this is uh, really, really, really upsetting because um, there's uh, she was called out, uh, and I know that probably the person shouldn't uh, involve her because she was not uh, related to the issue. But Stephanie's response was also not appropriate to the, the, the issue at hand. So she was called out because the person was post the... She follows a Catholic account that was posting anti-Semitic stuff and uh, another account posted um, that um, the Holocaust was a hoax and neither Stephanie nor the Catholic account uh, disavowed that uh, post. And uh, it's upsetting, it's really upsetting. So the original post said, uh, the poster, the, the one that Stephanie follows, posted a tweet that uh, complains about Hang on, I'm going to look for my tablet and read. Okay, so I'm back and I have my tablet. Let me just put the password. 
and yes it's quite lengthy now Okay, and let's go on Twitter. Should have the keyboard on, but it's on, on the back, so I'm not even looking for it. On. It's harder to deal with like this. Uh, hang on. Let's take the sound off. Okay, Twitter, oh, <laughs> and I lost followers, obviously, because I tweeted about it. Uh, oh, more anti-Semitic stuff, okay. That's not about this issue. Um, there is a, um, a, a very Nazi website Odinia International that uh, is uh, responding <laughs> uh, to some of my tweets not related to this. Hang on. I think. Hang on. Okay, I'm sorry for this. Um, so but again, uh, so again, uh, it says so again, um, she was saying, Stephanie was saying, I have no problem with disavowal, I have a problem with being expected to disavow things that are a a tiny molehill, not issues, and b. Nothing to do with me. That's exactly what she said. And uh, uh, the radical Catholic um, posted uh, one of the posts that uh, she that uh, Stephanie says is a tiny molehill and non-issue is a uh, hot take. Loving Christ's most sacred heart more than the Holocaust makes you an anti-Semite. Um, and uh, Stephanie just said, I think this was a dumb statement, LOL. I told him this too. And then the, the, the desert goat said, thank you for disavowing that type of stuff. And then she says that uh, uh, it's not about disavowing and uh, that that's a non-issue, that this statement is a tiny non-issue. And still not. Um, and uh, she has posts. Uh, Uh, saying, I think the whole Jews do this re thing is pretty cringe, but what the actual hell? Calling me an anti Semite is literally one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. Um, and uh, she has quoted one, the, the original. Um, post that she quoted here was, the contest is a comment I made regarding the fact that the U.S. commemorates the Holocaust for eight days, but the Catholic Church doesn't celebrate the octave of the most sacred heart anymore. In other words, I inadvertently outed myself as a subconscious anti-Semite or something. And Stephanie says that this is more of a criticism of the church than anything to me. That's how I took it. So basically, calling out people on their anti-Semitism and on undervaluing the importance of the Holocaust when compared to the heart of a fictional uh, 
of a, a you know um, a, a, a fictional concept because uh, uh, the, the 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 heart of Jesus the the, the the whatever what do they call it most sacred heart of Jesus is a pagan concept. It's not even something that matters. Um, and uh, they are upset because uh, the Holocaust is remembered for eight days and uh, the most sacred heart isn't. Uh, and uh, Stephanie says that this seems more of a criticism of the church than anything. That's how I took it. Thanks for clarifying. I've never seen you tweet anything about Jews or the Holocaust in general, so I'm kind of like, why is everyone tagging me about this? They're tagging you so that you can call out people on their cruelty, on their disrespect for thousands and thousands of dead Jews. And dead non-Jews too, but uh, yeah. So... Hang on. So basically, Stephanie says that these uh, accounts are, n th this is non issues. Uh, and I'm going to quote another tweet that, um, so the original tweet by Rad Radical Catholic is I just learned that remembrance of the victims of the Holocaust gets an octave in the U.S. secular calendar. We don't even give the most sacred heart an octave anymore. That's the original post. Then there's a, um, another post by Civis Passem Parabellum. Not to mention our Lord is real and the Holocaust is just a good story. And I'm starting to see how badass our ancestors were for having the Inquisition. They are so evil. They hate everything European because they hate our Lord. Europe is the church. The church is Europe. We be lock. And um, so this was a post under uh, the radical Catholic. And this is one of the posts that uh, was quoted to Stephanie as being anti Semitic, and which she calls little molehill non issues. And um, this is why I really have to make this video because I feel that we are becoming desensitized to serious issues. And uh, come on, she of whole people, considering she, she even considered converting to Judaism, she should be informed about these issues. She, she, it's so, so upsetting. It's like, how on earth can someone be so oblivious to, to this reality? It's, how can someone ignore the suffering of millions of people? It's, I have absolutely no no words to describe how she went from a potential Jewish convert to someone who ignores six million people killed or died dead at the ends of Nazis. This uh, so she sees uh, the reprimandations and people calling out on the fact that people are giving more importance to Christ's uh, whatever holy heart uh, than six million people that were tortured, starved and killed during World War II. So I kind of think that says a lot about her personality. I'm getting more and more disappointed. Holocaust denial is not a non-issue. And uh, 
this is very serious. We are at a point in time where more than ever, more than ever, history is repeating itself. We are seeing the signs. And I've always told everyone that uh, in reality the Cold War never ended. <laughs> it kind of cooled down a little, but it never actually ended. And so... <laughs> Uh, we live in a very dangerous era and uh, we are seeing the same symptoms. The same symptoms repeat themselves over and over and over again. You see that first they try to rewrite history. That's what they're doing. You have all those Holocaust denial websites. You have people trying to rewrite history trying to blame Jews of everything that happens. If anything bad happens, it's the Jews. You have anti-Semitic movements from the left and the right, which is important important to refer because, because of Russia being on the Allies side in World War II, many, a lot of the anti-Semitism from Russia was hidden. And so you have um extreme right wing um nazis going against jews for being um communists and uh killing thousands for the soviets when in reality the soviets killed killed and tried to eradicate jews too and they even collaborated with nazis to destroy jews and um, you have leftists trying to blame, to call uh, Jews Nazis and defending uh, Arabs and Muslims and Palestinians and ignoring how the entire Middle East is eradicating and trying to eradicate Jews. And uh, you can see the numbers in every single country in the Middle East that used to have Jews. They were either killed or expelled or forced converted to Islam. And so this is a very serious issue. And uh, now the, 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 the notion, the very, existence of, the very existence of Israel is being questioned. And you have people saying that Holocaust denial is not an issue. That's what happens. They rewrite history and then it repeats itself. Because they, when you start denying history, when you start using Jews as a scapegoat, <laughs> and I've seen a video that was really great saying that we are the coal mine canneries. Jews are the coal mine canneries because when something's wrong with the world, Jews are in the very sensitive position and they alert everyone for the danger ahead. And the ramp rampant anti-Semitism is a warning that no one is safe. First they'll come for the Jews, then they'll come for everyone else. And uh, that's why um, Stephanie's comment on Oh, it's a non-issue. It has nothing to do with me. Really, really upset me. First, just because she was at a certain time considering becoming Jewish. So she should be at least somehow sympathetic to, you know, descendants of the Holocaust. She works with Jews. She, she, she knows things. At least she should know. And, uh, it's so upsetting. I'm so upset. I'm trying to keep my composure, but I'm so disappointed. Uh, I'm really this is really, really sad. And uh I'm telling you why everyone should disavow people that promote Holocaust denial and anti Semitism. If not for concern for Jews, 
at least think that first they come for the Jews, then they come for other minorities, and they won't be happy until they ethnic cleanse everyone, until they make everyone conform to their ideas. Because the problem is that they want scapegoats. They want... And, you know, it's really... I don't know, I'm so upset. Oh, gosh. It's, uh... I don't know, I'm just really disappointed. I think everyone that reads such a thing, and I fight this every single day, especially on Holocaust Remembrance Week. I mean, you see such a thing at such a time when just a few days ago, a few weeks ago, there was anti-Semitic murders, target, targeted Jews. Jews were targeted and murdered in Europe. We have all this happening. Jews can't safely go to the synagogue in Germany, Sweden, and other countries. Are you freaking kidding me? You're going to say that Holocaust denial is a non issue with the world we live in? I'm sorry, Stephanie. Truly sorry, but you're really becoming another person, and I'm really disappointed in you. And uh, I'm I'm really sorry that you're blinded by your faith and. Uh, you can't even see cruelty anymore. And, um, well, so that's it for this video. I was just uh, ranting a little, and I know I had no structure. I'm not coherent and cohesive because I'm still really fresh. And, uh, but the thing is, and we should, we all should remember. Uh, Real, true evil is not doing evil per se, is good people doing, it's good people just looking at evil being done and standing idly by doing nothing. That's true evil. Good people not doing anything to prevent evil or you know, turn a blind eye to things. It's. I'm sorry, it's just, um, I'm really disappointed. Anyway, everyone, Shabbat Shalom, and uh, have a good day. And uh, I'm going to schedule other videos so they don't come out at the same hour, uh, because I have a few videos recorded, and so, yeah. Anyway, goodbye and uh, see you in the next video.